Alrighty, new background. The U shirt and rocking my BBB necklace. It is this week in music. Sorry for a late upload, guys. I'm busy, but yeah, we'll get to the news. Okay, so basically, the biggest story this week is about the band Screeching Weasel. Now, if you've never heard of Screeching Weasel, they are a punk band and have been around for a while. Now, at the SXSW show, which is a yearly show, I do believe, I have never really gotten into the show myself, I never really heard about it, but there was an incident at a show last Friday, aka the Friday past, uh, where Ben Weasel, the lead singer, had an altercation with a fan, a female fan, who apparently threw a glass of ice at him, and he went and he punched her. Not to mention the stage manager, who was also a woman, came on to try to break up the fight. Uh, he punched her as well. That was two punches on two female girls. Female girls, what am I saying? Anyways, so that's two females that he got into alter altercations with. Now, that's not even the whole story. He said an apology uh, to all the fans and to the two ladies that he harmed. But, uh, after this incident, a few days later, which is actually today, the band announced, his four members, that they were leaving the band. That means Ben Weasel's alone right now and he has no bandmates to back him up. They made a statement down below, this entire story down below guys, it's a huge story. Uh, and there's a video of the altercation as well. It's, it's pretty crazy, I watched it and I found it pretty nuts. So yeah, tell me what you think about that down below. So a few weeks ago I was talking about Warped Tour and the bands that were currently on it. Now, finally last night and today, well today it was finally released, who the headliners are. Now, I'm going to tell you because they are amazing. Alright, so we have the list here. Uh, they are The Devil Wears Prada, Asking Alexandria, A Day to Remember, August Burns Red, Gym Class Heroes, and Attack Attack. Holy mother flipping dog shit. That is amazing. I have to see at least all of these bands, hopefully, except for uh, maybe not Gym Class Heroes. I don't know. Uh, I like them, but they're not my favorite band. So yeah, that is the headliners, uh, also Medina Lake uh, and Jack's Manic and a few other bands were added this week as well as just other bands to add. But those are the headliners. Tell me what you think about those down below and we'll get on to the next story. To be honest, the two news pieces I put out this week are probably enough to last you. Uh, that was the main stories that actually happened. There wasn't too much news, but as for music in general, for songs and videos, holy how there's a lot. Alright, so I'll start off with saying Owl City has put out a brand new song, which is called Alligator Sky, and the making of his new album, All Things Bright and Beautiful. Panic at the Disco have, of course, released their album, but if you want to go listen to it and you haven't bought it yet, ugh, you can go on their Facebook and give it a stream and listen. There has been an unreleased Destroy Rebuild Until God Shows demo put up. Emery have released the full track of their song, Scissors. I Set My Friends on Fire have a new song called It Comes Naturally. It's really good. Check it out. I love them, and I really hope to see them on Warped Tour. Unwritten Law have put out a new song called Super Bad. And if you go on my link down below, you can see the, fir the last or five of the last tracks on Sum 41's upcoming new album, Screaming Bloody Murder, which is pretty awesome. Uh, now in videos, we have a uh, we have a few this week. MCR, My Chemical Romance, have put out a video for their song Planetary Go. It's a live performance video. A live performance video. It's pretty good. Uh, uh, Bring Me the Horizon have put out a, a video for their song Blessed with a Curse. It's not my favorite video, but it's still pretty good. I, I enjoy the song. It's probably the only, uh, sorry, the love ballad or whatever, the slow song on this album, if you want to call it that. And All Time Low have put out a new, or sorry, live video for the new song, Paper Moon, which is going to be due off the new album, Dirty Work. Sorry for speaking fast. I'm trying to get through this for you guys. Uh, so yeah, that's basically all the new releases this week, and we're going to get to a new band. I hope you guys are ready for this. They're called As A Heart Attack, and here you go. Here's hey an intro. Guys, what's up? My name's Mikey Crew. I do vocals in a band called As Attack from Spring Valley, Illinois. This song's off our self-titled EP that drops April 15. Hope you guys like it. It's called 42. Oh my god, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a great intro, wasn't it? Make sure you check them out on Facebook and everything down below. You can go like them. They're really nice dudes, so make sure you go give them a check. Yes, I'm playing with huge crayons. I'm just that cool. Watch out. Alright, so that is basically all I have to say this week. Before I go, I do have to tell you about a few videos. If you have not seen my interview with Arya, you can get a link for that. If you have not seen my vocal cover of Yumi 6s 
always attract. You can get it meow. And if you want to see any of my newer videos or anything, I'm going to link down below, which is going to be in this video anyways. It's going to be at the bottom, so get the links here, 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 everywhere. All right, so thanks for watching this week of music. Remember, guys, it's music for today, it's music for tomorrow, and, of course, it's music for life. Peace out, yo.